Hi, I'm Jake Loring with HighResponseMarketing.com and PrintingForSuperCheap.com. Are you confused about how to put those EDDM postage markers on your card? You want to do a campaign, but you don't know where to put them? Don't worry. I got you. You're going to be okay. First of all, these EDM markings are really important. They're the things that can ultimately get you approved or rejected at the post office. People spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on these campaigns all the time, and the post office rejects them. It's very scary. It happens all the time. I don't think I can go a week without someone calling or emailing me and saying that they printed freaking postcards from Vistaprint or some online printer and it got turned down at the post office. They had to reprint them. I feel really bad, but that's what you get for not going with an EDDM Pro for your printing. Don't worry, Jakey gotcha. First, these markings, they're called a mailing label, which the post office calls them a mailing label. It makes it really confusing because everyone thinks that it's a, a label, but it's not. They use all these terms that don't make sense. It's pronounced indicia, but I call it indicia. Whatever it is doesn't matter. That's not going to get you more customers if you pronounce it right. The Grammarly ad will probably come up and get me. But you're probably wondering how, how do you get this on here? Whoever's making this beautiful postcard of yours needs to put this on the card. So it actually needs to be put as part of the design. It is your responsibility to have this right. The post office isn't going to put these on after the, the printer. It's, it's got to be on this card so that it prints with them. If you're using Canva, which I highly recommend, you can just shoot me an email. It's in the description below with your project link, and I'll, I'll look at it. Me or my, one of my minions will go put the right indicia on there, and you'll be good to go. I don't want to have to see you get rejected on a technicality. In the description below, I got a thing that will send you the images. You can get the images for free of the indicia. Next, you're probably wondering where to actually put this on the card. The rules are confusing. They basically, it's just put it on the right side of the card. Right side, if it's up here, this top half. This side. Don't make it too small. Just make it so they can read it, okay? The mail carrier needs to literally just look at it and see, okay, this is paid for. It's going everywhere. We're good to go. Next, you're probably wondering what it actually looks like. I would suggest just downloading the things I give you in the description below. That way, it's good. But it says local postal customer, and then it has this wording, ECRWSS, U.S. Postage Paid to EDM Retail. The address part really isn't an address. It just says local postal customer. That means the mail carrier is going to deliver it to everyone on the mail route. Small disclaimer, if you're doing a permit mailing, this is a little bit different. This is, not, this is for EDM retail mailing. If you're using a permit, you have to use a little bit different upwording on there. Just shoot me an email, and I will straighten that out. That's all you have to do. Besides absolutely freaking demolishing that subscribe button and that like button and the little bell. So you the little bell thing. So you know when a new video pops off. I'll be honest though. It's best just to have someone check it over. EDM Pro, anyone who knows EDM well, you can, you can send an email to me. You can send me a text. You can call me, whatever. Just so you don't have a nasty little surprise when you get your campaign. I don't care if I'm not printing. It doesn't matter. I want to at least look it over and make sure. I have seen cards completely butchered wrong sizes wrong markings wrong placements wrong wrong paper no markings at all and they go through sometimes it's up to the postmaster some are nazis and they want to see everything up to postal standards so it's better to just do it the right way and if you're going if you're going to be doing multiple post offices one might be good one might be crazy so you uh, just do them the right way don't risk it and you can always use a turnkey service too. Like we do full turnkey EDM where you don't have to touch anything. You don't have to truck cards around. You don't have to prepare them. You just, you, you, I send you the cards and pictures and trackings and it's all done for you. Size of the mail piece really is the thing that will most get you in trouble. And I've got a great video on that too. You don't want to mess up the size. You can kind of mess up the indices a little bit, but the size now, whatever you're doing, I want to see that beautiful postcard of yours. I'm so proud of you for doing an EDM campaign. They are the best. Everyone else is trying to do freaking Facebook ads and all this stuff while you're hitting every prospect on the block, right, with your mailer. You are a smart person. Smart business owner for using EDDM. I'm Jake Lorraine with HighResponseMarketing.com and PrintingForSuperCheap.com. And happy marketing. Now go get you some new customers.